Hi, this is Gaurav and welcome to the first part of this uh, video series of simple way to learn trigonometric formulas in which I'll be telling you a simple logic uh, kind of story which will help you out to learn the trigonometric formulas easily. So in this video I'll be discussing sin A plus B cos A plus B sin A plus minus sin B cos A plus minus cos B and the formulas of sin A plus B plus minus sin A minus B and cos A plus B plus minus cos A minus B as well. So in this video uh, I'll be showing you simple logic and let's check it out there. Before I tell you the story or the formulas and how to learn them there's a simple assumption that we need to do and that is sine is good and cosine is bad right sine is good and cos is bad so we're gonna add all the good qualities like sine is good sine maintains quality equality so just create all the positive qualities in your mind for sine and on the same on the other hand uh, cos is bad, it's cruel, it's discriminate and just you need to add all the negative qualities in your mind for cos and with the help of this simple assumption we're going to learn all the formulas so let's get started first we're going to deal with the formulas of sine a plus minus b cos a plus minus b so in this formula we see that there are five parts actually one is sine and the rest of the four are trigonometric ratios. So let's talk about sine A plus B. Right? We know sine is good. So it will maintain equality. So it will take the first part of the formula of the first part and give the second part to cos. Right? It is maintaining equality. It is taking the first part Itself and is giving the second part to cos right and in the second part it will give a chance to cos and now cos will get a chance to get first why because sine is good and is maintaining equality and it will take the second part itself so here we see that cos and sine both are getting equal opportunity just because it's the formula of sine and also sine is good so it's gonna uh, simply put the same sign as it is in the formula so we'll have a plus sign here but if we had the formula of sine a minus b then everything would have been the same sign would maintain equality on both these parts and the thing would be it'll take the minus sign and simply take it in the formula no so it's not gonna change it let's talk about cos a plus b so we know that cos is bad. So what's cos going to do? It's going to take the whole of the first part, right? So cos will take the first position as well as the second position as well. And we'll give the second part to sine. Right? Whereas in the formula of sine, we, we saw that sine is maintaining equality in both the parts, whereas cos is taking the whole first part right and as we know that cos is bad so it's not gonna keep the sign same right it'll make the positive negative here right and if we had the formula of cos a minus b then everything would have been the same that cos would take the whole of the first part and give the second one to sign but the negative sign would have been turned to a positive one why because cos is not good it's gonna do something wrong every time so there was the way this was the way to learn the formula of sine a plus b cos a plus b and minus b. so let's move on now we have the formula of sine a plus b cos a plus b and so on like this uh, in this formula as we see that there is a common thing this 2 and a plus b by 2 and a minus b by 2 in all the formulas we see this thing is common and it's you know it's not a big deal to learn this thing but the problem is with the trigonometric ratios like what trigonometric ratios will be uh, placed here in the first place and in here in the second place so let's see that thing so for the formula of sine a plus sine b we know that sine is good it maintains equality so it'll take the first part why because it's the formula of sine it'll take the first part and will give the second part to cos 
right? It's maintaining equality. Whereas if you see the case of cos A plus cos B, here we see that cos is bad. So it's going to take both the parts and not going to give anything to sign. So we have cos A plus B equal to 2 cos A, A plus B by 2, cos A minus B by 2. Now when we see sine A minus sine B, here what we are going to do is that we will take this negative sign as a loss. Okay, so sine A minus sine B. Here, sine is having a loss. So, cos will try to take the opportunity and will just simply take the first position of sine's formula, right? And as it is a formula of sine, sine will get the second position. So, as cos uh, news that sine is having a loss, he will take the opportunity, he will not lose it and take the first position itself and give the second one to sign. Whereas, you know, it's simply like a story. You will say that this formula is very different, but there's also a trick to learn this formula. See, cos A minus cos B. This time, cos is having a loss, right? When cos has a loss, then he regrets. He regrets of uh, his past activities, you know, his discriminative activities with sign. And this time he regrets and wants to apologize, so he donates both the parts of his formula to sign. And uh, since it is a negative sign here, we're going to put the same right here. So this was the formula, these were the formulas uh, of sine A plus minus B and cos A plus minus B. And this is simply a kind of story, sine A plus B equality, sine cos. Cos A plus B discrimination, cos cos. Sine A minus sine B loss. Sine is having a loss. Cos takes the opportunity, cos sine. Cos A minus cos B. Cos is having a loss. It won't, it regrets and wants to apologize, so donate both the parts to sine. And there's a minus sign just because there is a loss. So moving on to the next and the last part of this video are the formulas of sine A plus B plus minus sine A minus B cos A plus B plus minus cos A minus B, right? These are the most difficult, this, this is the most difficult part of trigonometric formulas and I think uh, if you'll watch this, if you will just know the trick, you will find it really very easy, right? So let's get started. Firstly, we have the formula of sine A plus B plus sine A minus B. So sine is good. We know we need to put two trigonometric formulas here and two is constant in all the formulas. But the problem is, which trigonometric ratio will come here? and will come first. So, since it's the formula of sine, first part will be given to sine, right? We'll have sine A, right? We also know that sine is good, so it'll maintain equality and will give the second part to cos. Sine A cos B. And that is the formula of sine A plus B plus sine A minus B. Whereas if we see the formula of sine A plus B, sorry, cos A plus B plus cos A minus B, we'll see that cos is bad. Right? So it's simply going to take both the parts itself and is not going to give anything to sine. So it will take both the parts and this will become the formula of cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. Now when we come to the formula of sine A plus B minus sine A minus B, as we have seen in the previous formulas as well, what cos does is that when sine is going to face a loss, what will happen? Cos will take the opportunity and will simply snatch the first position of sine's formula and will become cos A. So it will become cos A and sine B. Now when we come to the formula of cos A plus B minus cos A minus B, the same thing will happen which happened in the last formula as well. This time cos is having a loss and cos regrets about its previous activities, about his discriminative activities with sign and wants to regret, uh, sorry, <laughs> wants to apologize obviously and simply gives both his parts to sign, right? And since there is a negative sign, we we'll do the same as we did in the last formula, we'll put a negative sign here as well. So what happens is that um, when we see the formula of sine A plus sine B, sine is good, it'll maintain equality and will give and we'll take one part itself that is the first part and that is because it's the formula of sine it's going to take the first part obviously and the second part to cos 
to maintain equality. When you come to the formula of cos a plus b plus cos a minus b, cos is bad, it's cruel, it's and disc is discriminate, so he just take he just snatches both the parts of his formula and and is not giving anything to sine, right? When we come to the formula for sine a plus b minus sine a minus b, we see that sine is having a loss here because we take minus sine as a loss here. We just assume it to be a loss. It's actually nothing, right? So this time cos snatches the first position and takes it as cos a and gives the second position to b sine, sorry. Uh, and second position is given to sine just because it's the formula of sine. So it'll need to be there. So 2 cos a sine b. When we come to the formula of cos a plus b minus cos a minus b, we see that cos is this time having a loss and now he will regret about his previous activities, about his uh, previous indiscriminate activities and now will want to apologize. And that's why he gives both his parts, he just donates them to sine. And uh, we see a negative sign here just because is a negative sign here as well and uh, this is only in the case of uh, this is only in the case when cos will have a loss as we have seen in the previous uh, formulas as well so that was the small video showing you how to learn the trigonometric formulas simply with a very simple logic and I think you like the video and if you did then please do hit the like button and if you didn't like the video please don't dislike it and uh, just tell me what's What's the problem with it? Uh, what can I do to make them better in future in the upcoming videos? And uh, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Please check out the other videos as well. There are many good videos like uh, which are coming in English language as well. So please wait for them. And the second part is also coming really very soon. So please do subscribe and like. Thanks for watching. This is Gaurav Arya signing off. Bye-bye.